guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is geared toward all you pregnant mamas out there, and I specifically want to talk about one of the most asked questions that I received as a labor and delivery nurse and that I get now as a labor doula, and that is, what am I supposed to pack in my bag to take to the hospital? For some reason, that is just one of the things that just plagues so many expecting women out there because you're going to a new place, you're gonna have ex an experience that is unlike anything you've ever gone through and you wanna make sure that you don't leave any of the necessities at home because while labor and delivery units do have some of the little things, you know, it's good to have, you know, everything that you need and everything that you feel like you're gonna want. So, what I want to share with you today is something that is pretty darn genius in my opinion and when I received it to look over it, give it a review, tell what I thought, I was really blown away because they thought of pretty much everything that I would tell, tell a patient or a doula client. So this is actually a pre-packed hospital bag by the company Kiwi Maternity. I will put the link in the description box down below, but this is everything that comes in it. And the first thing that really impressed me was the fact that this is a really nice bag. This is the bag that you get. It's a pretty green color. It's kind of like a nylon sort of material. So if it gets dirty, you can wipe it off. It's got the little buckle here and it has a top zipper. You've got your top handles and you also have a shoulder strap. So this could be used after the baby is born as a diaper bag. You could just use this like as a tote bag when you go somewhere. Totally reusable, very nice quality bag. So I was really impressed with that first and foremost. And then everything that it comes in is everything that you would possibly think of needing with the exception, obviously, of your own clothes, things like your pajamas, something for the baby to wear, your cell phone, your charger, your camera, um, memory cards, things like that you'll obviously had to have to add to this, but this is just the basic necessities that most people want to take with them when they're going to go and stay overnight in the hospital. So let me go through everything that's in here. Um, one of the things that I really liked was they give you a nice water bottle. This is a Nalgene water bottle, which is BPA-free. Um, this is really handy because the lid just pops off with your thumb so you don't have to fuss with twisting off a cap or anything like this. So when you're in labor, you need to stay hydrated. You've got a water bottle. This also will come in very handy after your baby is born because hydration is really important for healing and also for um, building and maintaining your milk supply. So you're going to have a nice water bottle. You also have a number of things both to use during your labor process and in postpartum. Um, one of the things that you may think, oh my goodness, this is the most unattractive thing I've ever seen in my life. These are like the disposable, you know, depends sort of things. This is good for two situations. Number one, your water might break on your way to the hospital. So this would be handy to have just in case you don't have any of those big bulky pads around. This is also good for after your baby is born so you don't have to worry about that first day or so. They will have stuff like that in the hospital but you never know like right when you're coming home. They you also have some snacks in here or maybe after your baby is born or your husband or whoever's there acting as your support person. So there's a can of Pringles. And then my favorite is there is a cliff bar in here and there is a kind bar and a little pack of Altoids because nobody wants to have stinky breath when they're in labor. So this may be for your husband, your doula, yourself, um, but to have some breath mints, I thought that was pretty handy and a really good idea. You also have a notepad in case your husband or your doula or anybody wants to take some notes as far as how your labor is going, maybe track some contractions. There are also two ink pens and something that I thought was a really good idea is that there are two thank you cards in here. So if you want to write a note to your labor and delivery nurse or your postpartum nurse before you go home, you have those included in the bag as well. Now during labor, one of the things that I tell moms most often is that you want to make sure that you stay relaxed because when you tense up and you're in pain, that's going to number one, make the pain worse and it will also kind of impede your progress. So there is a stress ball that they include in the bag and instead of squeezing that because we don't like tension, I like to have clients just kind of roll this around in their hand. It gives you, it's a distraction. It, it also helps keep you from clenching up your hands. So the stress ball is in here. You have a pack of tissues. There is a chapstick because so many times with all the breathing that you're doing during labor, your lips get chapped. So there's chapstick here. There is a packet of Q-tips. 
and there's a hairbrush so there is a sleep mask in here this could come in handy for a number of reasons um, in case of an induction you may need to get some sleep in a hospital is an unfamiliar setting if you have an epidural and you're able to get some rest between contractions or even postpartum yes. Um, there's also a really cute pair of grippy socks these are like a bubblegum pink color probably the cutest pair that i've ever seen there is a disposable razor yes. because there is also a little sandwich baggie here that has three empty bottles so you can take your own shampoo conditioner and body wash that is one of the things that i recommend because when you go to the hospital some hospitals do not provide you with those things so you're going to need them but also a lot of times when they do they're a very generic kind they don't work really well after you've had a baby you really want to feel like you're being pampered you're being taken care of so you're going to want to have your own stuff that you're used to so take your own shampoo conditioner and body wash you'll be very thankful that you did that there is also a little travel size deodorant in here a little bottle of lubriderm lotion and a contact lens case and if you don't wear contact lenses you can use this to store your jewelry so let's say you go to the hospital and you've got a pair of earrings in and you want to take those out a contact lens case works really well for holding on to earrings so that you don't lose those there is another little sandwich size baggie in here this one has some breast pads it also has a little mini tube of Lansino nipple cream which is really handy you can drop this in your diaper bag after you get home from the hospital and then there are preparation H wipes because unfortunately for some people the pushing process can result sometimes in hemorrhoids there's a couple more toiletries in here you've got two toothbrushes so one for you and your husband or whoever is coaching you during labor and then there is also a really cute little cosmetic case I was really impressed with this because this is really high quality it's really sturdy I could totally see using this afterward and it has a little tube of toothpaste a large size bottle of hand sanitizer and a little travel size bottle of mouthwash and also in here which is really handy if you have long hair is two ponytail holders because you don't want to be in labor wish that your hair was up and have no way to do that so you've got two ponytail holders here and then finally you have a little body puff that you can use in the shower this is really nice it lathers up so much better than a washcloth so I really like the fact that this is in here and then you also have you won't be using this right away but a little gift from a little gift for your baby from Kiwi Maternity. This is a little teething ring. So in a couple of months, you can put this in the fridge, give this to your baby, and it will help soothe teething pain. And then they send you a thank you note for buying their bag. And this is really nice because inside of this is a little sheet. There's actually two pieces of paper in here. One has the list of everything that's in the bag so that you can look at that and then make little notes on the bottom or on the edges of what you want to add to it. You know, your own pajamas, something for the baby, cell phone charger, things like that. So you know what to grab before you run out the door. And then there's also this paper that you can fill out and you can put the contact information for, you know, the hospital, your doctor, um, the pediatrician, all sorts of things like that. So you can keep this right in your bag. And then when you get to labor and delivery and they're admitting you and they want to know who is your pediatrician, what's the phone number, you can just hand them that sheet of paper and you don't even have to worry about it. So I really like how they've got this, you know, all of this stuff in here. They've thought of everything. So from This is really handy, you know, if you just want to check something off your list and you don't want to have to worry about going and assembling all of this together, it's put together for you in a really nice bag. I just think that is just a genius idea, especially since once you get to that point where you're almost at your due date, you have so much to think about that, you know, remembering to pack your chapstick in your in your hospital bag is not something that is really, you don't want to have that on your mind. So check the description box below where you'll be able to see the information on Kiwi Maternity, where you can go check them out online. If you have any questions about this, let me know. I have a ton more videos coming up for you pregnant ladies. Uh, because you know as a labor doula that's kind of like where my heart is so um, i'm going to have some more information for you if you have any ideas for videos please leave that in the comment section below and until next time i will talk to you guys later god bless